Roosevelt's Miami visit was planned to last less than two hours. After meeting with reporters at 8.45 p.m., FDR made his way toward the Bayfront Park band shell. There he would deliver an informal address to a crowd of about 4,000 before catching the 10 o'clock train back to New York. Hidden in the crowd that night was Giuseppe Zangara, a 33-year-old bricklayer who claimed a hatred for all kings and presidents. Upon reading of Roosevelt's visit in the newspaper, Zangara bought a handgun for $8 at a Miami Avenue pawn shop and arrived at the park early to get a good seat. Roosevelt was speaking just about here in what's now the open south end of Bayfront Park. When he finished his speech, he turned to the photographers that were right over here on a platform. And that's when Zangara made his move. He jumped up on the bench, leveled his 32 caliber pistol, and squeezed off five shots at the president-elect, who was only 15 to 20 feet away at the time. Every one of Zangara's bullets found a mark, but miraculously, none of them struck Roosevelt. Chicago Mayor Anton Cermak, who was standing behind FDR, was wounded in the abdomen and rushed to Jackson Memorial Hospital, where he lay in critical condition. Also wounded were the wife of the president of FPNL, a 22-year-old Coconut Grove man, and two New York tourists. Justice was swift upon Zangara, originally sentenced to 80 years in prison. He received the death penalty when Cermak died three weeks later. Zangara was electrocuted at Rayford Prison on March 20th just 33 days after the shooting, in the same chair that's still in use today. His last words were, push the button. 